In our previous course on marketing overview, we identified templates as one of the required components of a marketing campaign. And that makes sense because the templates are what you're going to communicate to your customers. The templates are the message you want to send to your customer. They're written in HTML, which is a mini web page, and those are sent via email to your customer base. The templates for your marketing campaign are stored in your template library. So clicking on template library brings you to the page where all your templates are stored. Now you can organize these in file folders and have subfolders and things like that. In this case we've created a widgets LLC subfolder. When I click on the folder name you'll see the templates that have been created in this subfolder. To create templates you have a choice. You can create a brand new one from scratch so you build up the web page and the HTML any way you want to or you're welcome to import templates from a collection. When you choose import from collection what happens is another web page is going to open up and all the different predefined templates that we've provided will be available for you to select from. Now these templates are not ready to send to your customers. You definitely have to import them and then modify them but they're a good start on an HTML layout. So when the template screen opens up you'll see all the templates listed in alphabetical order and there's two symbols in front of each template. Checking the checkbox indicates you want to import that template into your library so that you can work with it. To preview any of the templates just to see what they look like you can click on the little eye symbol or the looks like a magnifying glass in front of the template name. Once you click on that another window is going to pop up to give you a preview of the template. You can see this template is a newsletter template. Now you wouldn't want to use this just in its current form because obviously sample text and headline comes here are things you wouldn't send to a customer but you could use this layout and just change the text and you'd have a fairly nice looking newsletter that you could send to your clients. So if you want to use this newsletter in your collection just check the checkbox next to its name. And you can do that with any of the templates that you want to use. So I'll just select a few random ones once I've selected the ones I want to import, I go down and I submit with the submit button at the bottom of the screen. Once I've hit submit, what happens is the system goes to the collection library and pulls those templates into your active template library. And you'll see those show up in your template library. And we can see now that the new templates we just chose show up on our list. And here's where you can actually edit those and customize them to your needs. Once they've been imported into your library, they stay in your library. You don't have to re-import them later. Matter of fact, if you do, without renaming the template, you'd overwrite it. So once you've imported from the collection and modified it to your needs, then that template's ready to use in any of your marketing campaigns.